Hello and welcome to 2022's Christmas gift guide for nursing students, nurses and healthcare professionals in general. I am so excited to do this video for you guys and I am so happy that you are here with me for this video. I hope that it gives you some inspiration. I often get comments and DMs asking me where I get certain things that I use for nursing school and so I thought this would be a great opportunity to share these things with you today. For those who are new here, I am Faye, I'm 32 and I am a Masters in Nursing student, currently finishing up my BN programme, my third and final senior year of my BN programme. So I've tried to incorporate some little gifts, some bigger gifts, a mix of affordable gifts, some that are slightly more expensive but I haven't gone too crazy because I know just how difficult things are, I'm a student nurse so I know exactly how tough finances are at this moment in time and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I am going to enjoy filming this for you. If I do actually have these things physically with me I'm going to show you them because I have got a pile of things next to me here and if I don't have them I'll insert a little picture for you. So first up I'm going to go through all of the main gifts so more of the bigger gifts things that you wouldn't really class as a stocking filler possibly a little bit more pricey and some that are just bigger in size in general. First up is my stethoscope and this is absolutely gorgeous. It is the Lipman 3 Classic and I've got it in seal blue, that's C-E-I-L. And I will link everything below in the description box as much as I can for you guys. So don't worry if I don't tell you where it's from on the video, it will be linked in the description box. But I got this online and I got free engraving with it. And I believe that free engraving from the place that I got it from is a standard thing. I'm not sure if my camera will pick this up, but it says Nurse Edwards on there. And I just love this. Now, as a nursing student, you don't have ample opportunities to use this because the settings that you usually put in are quite different each time you go into a different clinical placement. However, if you can get into the habit of using it, then do. It's not something that you tend to be encouraged to use out on placement, but I am telling you to encourage yourself to use it so that you can get used to the A to E assessment. You don't have to know what all the different sounds mean, but if you can get used to knowing what sounds are normal, then when you come and pick up a sound that is not normal, then it'll stand out to you. And I just think it's really good practice to get in using a stethoscope. Following on from that is linked in with the stethoscope and that is my stethoscope case. It has a little carry handle here and this is from Amazon and it comes with lots of compartments. I've got a pen light in there at the moment. Uh, this is a zip, you've got little pen pockets, mini, mini pockets at the top, more pockets in the next section and this part is where the stethoscope actually sits which is in there which I just think is a lovely little gift because sometimes we do think to get ourselves a stethoscope as nursing students, nurses and healthcare professionals, but we never really think to get something to put it in. And the last thing you want is to be paying for a stethoscope and have it banging around your bag and getting all banged up. So having somewhere nice to put it in, I think is a nice little gift idea. Next is compression socks. Now, for those who are working in healthcare, whatever job it is that you're doing in healthcare, we are on our feet, as you know, for a good 14 hours a day. And with that, you can get an achy back, you can get tired legs, you can get swelling in your legs. And as we know, compression socks are designed to keep blood flow going for multiple reasons, which we won't go through on this video because that's not what this video is about. But compression socks are very, very important and are very, very helpful when it comes to healthcare professionals. And these, I'm sorry that they're creased, but I did say for the mine, I will show them. So I have got the use out of them. Um, so they have been rolled up in the wardrobe, but I do wear them as you can see. And these are from Fit Legs and they are on Instagram. They do lots of different patterns. I believe they've just got some Christmas ones out, which is super cute. If I was on placement over Christmas, I would definitely have got some, but I'm not back till January. But yeah, these are my compression socks. And I've had compression socks before from Amazon, which were great at the time when they were new, but they didn't wash very well. Then they didn't fit very well after that. And they were quite tight and pinchy on my legs whereas these literally fit perfectly. I think you can see the brand there, Fit Legs. There, there's the brand, Fit Legs. So these are absolutely gorgeous and I think make a wonderful Christmas present. And the reason I put it on main presents is because they are a little bit pricier than your average sock, but that is understandable. So you may want to give it as a stocking filler, but I personally would personally give these as a main present. 
Okay, next I have put on here a fob watch as a main gift. Now, the one I'm going to show you is not a main gift type of fob watch. I think this one cost me about £5 off eBay. It's just a rubber silicone one that I have. Here in the UK, we're not allowed anything from below elbow and below. It's a bare below the elbow policy, so we're not allowed watches on our wrists or anything like that. So we have to have fob watches to count our patient's rests, etc. Now, the reason I put Fob Watch down on the main present list is because, not last year, the year before, Lee actually got me for Christmas, got me a special rose gold Fob Watch that he had engraved on the back. Now, the reason I'm not showing that is because it's currently in for repairs because the back of the pin, I took it off on placement and dropped it and stood on it and it needs fixing. So, a little bit upset about that, but at the moment in time, this is the one I'm using, but a decent, nice Fob Watch that's going to last and you can personalize it with a nice engravement. If you can find somewhere that does that, is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Trust me, I bawled my eyes out when I saw Lee had got me that. So, fob watches are ah, top idea. Okay, next is a BP cuff set. From what I can remember, because it was a few years ago, I think I got this from eBay, and I don't think it was more than £10. I could be wrong, and the prices may have gone up now, so don't take that price as gospel, but, I genuinely, genuinely cannot advise you to get this for a gift for somebody over everything that I'm about to show. And this is because, specifically for the nursing student, learning manual blood pressure is um, very, very, very difficult when you first start out. And I actually didn't feel like I was ever gonna get it. And it was only because my cousin, who is also a nurse, she said to me, it's really weird one day once you just keep practicing and practicing it'll just click and you'll just hear it and you'll never not be able to hear it from that point and she was right so thank you to claudia my cousin for that tip and um, to just keep practicing and this is how it comes this is how this one came that i got like i said it was a few years ago so i'm not sure if i can find the link for this exact one but i will try but it's really, really good quality, and it just comes with a standard sized adult BP cuff, and your sphygmometer. It's really, really good. Now, you might be thinking, why do I need this? The hospitals have got electronic ones, and the hospitals have got manual ones. They may do, but you need to be practicing at home because you really need to know manual blood pressures. Yes, the hospitals might have automatic ones, but what happens if they fail? Next up I have, this could possibly be the most expensive present that I've got on my list, but our shoes. Now these are mine from Clarks. I think they are the Unwhisper. I think they're called Unwhisper. I'd have to double check that. Now. These do not look flattering. You know, they're not very glamorous nursing shoes, but they are ultimate comfort. And I've had them since I started my degree and I've worn these for many, many hundreds, almost thousands, literally, of hours. And the ultimate comfort of shoe, they are hard wearing, they are wipeable because we are not supposed to wear trainers in nursing because fluids can get through, sharps can get through. So they need to be black. I know it's boring, but they need to be black and they need to be wipeable, they need to be tough, they need to be strong, but they also need to be very, very comfortable because you are on your feet for a very long period of time. So, with that, as you can imagine, it's not the cheapest price to come with a shoe, but they are worth every single penny, I promise. Next up, any healthcare professional will tell you that one of their biggest loves, I'm sure, is caffeine. Not everyone may like the same source of caffeine, so some may like energy drinks, some may like coffee like me, some may like hot coffee, some may like iced coffee, some may like both, and it's nice to have something nice to drink it out of. Now, I got this personalised Starbucks cup. I think you can just about make my name out of it there. I, I chose what colour the writing was and what colour the leopard print was because leopard print, cheetah print, is my favourite print. So I got the colour to match my stethoscope as I just love this colour. I got this from Etsy. Uh, again, I'll try and link it for you. But it is absolutely gorgeous and I use it all the time for my iced coffees. You cannot go wrong with this kind of gift for someone who works in healthcare. In relation to the cold drinks cup, I also have this, which is from the show, the company called Show. I'll pick that up on there. 
and this is an insulated coffee mug with a handle because again we do have rules in the UK supposed to have something with a handle and a lid and it is insulated and keeps your drinks hot for up to 12 hours I believe or cold you can put cold drinks in it and it's just got a little sippy area there i tend to make myself in the mornings if it's cold and i fancy hot coffee i'll make this before i leave for work and it stays hot for hours whilst i'm on shift so i can nip back and take sips of it because as you well know if you work in healthcare you don't always get to sit down and drink your coffee in one sitting so these are a really really good gift idea and they come in tons of colors tons of styles but this was the one i liked the most but yeah super good gift idea Whilst we're on drinks, I am bombarding you with drink ideas, is my hydro jug. Now, this is something that I have used for the last, I wanna say two years, and it is a 2.2 litre jug, and with a straw, I'll show you the straw, it's got water on it because I am using it as, as you can hear, um, and the straw has um, a rubber end that when the lid closes it will fold so it closes away where it's rubber at the bottom folds when the lid shuts it it will just pop down when you open the lid again it will pop back up and the sleeves there's so many so many sleeves do have an affiliate link with hydro jug you don't get discount through the affiliate link as they've stopped allowing affiliate new affiliate links to have discount because people were misusing them but when you go onto the hydro jug site they always have tons of offers on 20% off 30% off bundle deals so to be honest i think the affiliate links only give you 10 percent off anyway so you're getting a better deal just going on the website in general but if you shop through the link that i provide then i do get a tiny little bit of commission so if you want to shop through them i am super grateful and if you don't it's absolutely totally fine i understand i just thought i'd put that out there I try and get through every single day sometimes i like to get through two if i can i have lots of different colored jugs i have lots of different sleeves india's got one lee's got one my mum's got one and india's school friends i think have got one the mum got one last year when she saw i was using them I cannot advise these enough or somebody that you know, love, who works in healthcare. But next up is an item of clothing that I have cherished since my first year of nursing, especially living in the UK where it is very, very cold most of the time. And that is my fleece from, I think they're called Custom Hoodies. They are on Instagram, I'll, I'll do my best to link them below. But this fleece has kept me warm and cozy going back and forth from placement throughout the winter months and it is personalized as well so you can have different things put on here but i didn't want my university on it for my own reasons so i just have student nurse day on there i'm not sure if they still have the offer on but i know it's something that they put on quite often and it's a dual offer and so you can pick a fleece and a hoodie so i wear this for uni when I go in in skills labs and we have to have our skills uniform on so I wear that in fact I'm in skills on Monday Tuesday Tuesday I'm next in so I'll be wearing this then and again it's just same personalization on it student nurse bay and I think they're amazing gifts to have and they're not actually as pricey as you would think they are next is a medication revision guide from nurse Beck supplies again from Instagram and yes I do use it because people often ask me oh do you use these things but I do I have filled them in as I've been going and it is unbelievably helpful for vision for medication for pharmacology pathophysiology it has anatomy and physiology ones as well and i'm sure she has numeracy ones and so many other different things and the reason i put this in a mains present is because i think it was about 15 pounds so not quite stocking filler price but absolutely worth every single penny for anybody who is studying any kind of healthcare that requires you to know medication and not suggest this enough in a similar kind of field, a book, again, nevertheless, but a planner. And this is a planner that I have used every single year. Obviously not this exact one because it gets updated every year. But this is a planner that I get year in, year out from the Happy Student Company. And I have done videos on this, so I won't go too much into it. But this planner is unbeatable. I have looked, trust me, for the last three years, I have looked and looked and looked for planners and nothing even comes close to this. Now, being in nursing school, trust me you cannot function without a planner not saying that you have to go out and get a really expensive planner because these are a little bit pricey but obviously this is a christmas wish list christmas gift guide so this would be a really nice a well appreciated gift i will then turn to the thing that i carry all of these things in which is my clinical bag my nursing bag i don't take this one into university i just have a normal backpack for that but this is 
huge as you can see next to me. It is massive and it's from Amazon and not that expensive but really good quality, comes in different colours. I have done a video on this so i am not go hugely into detail on it but I will tell you that you can fit your life in this bag and still have room so, so this bag will be greatly received because we need lots of things that we need to take to us on placement obviously this bag can be used for anyone in healthcare but nursing students specifically I would say that this is aimed at it has many pockets, lots of room and we have a lot of things that we need to take Finally, for main gifts for nursing students slash nurse slash healthcare professional, not something that I've got on me, but gift card for a massage. Now, I know gift cards are small and will fit into a stocking, but obviously they can be quite pricey depending on what you get. You can get a hot stone massage, you can get tissue therapy massage, you can get a sports massage, you can get general massages. I can assure you that that is a present that will be unbelievably appreciated more than you could know speaking from experience someone got me a gift of a back massage i can assure you they would be number one on my list <laughs> in healthcare we are on our feet for very very long periods of time it's a very strenuous job physically and mentally and the bottom of your back tends to suffer the most and our backs we need them obviously and they carry us through the day so having something that is going to look after that thing that keeps us staying upright and strong throughout the day is an incredible gift to give to somebody okay so we have done the main gifts now we're going to move on to the stocking fillers now these are going to be a lot smaller in size and smaller in cost i love waking up on christmas morning having little things in my stocking i don't know why i just love it so first up i haven't actually got anything with me because i don't have anything in particular i just kind of use whatever i've got at the time and that is a good hand moisturizer in healthcare we are washing our hands so many times throughout the day we are putting hand sanitizer on and we just genuinely get very sore dry hands so having something to just put the moisture back in to stop them cracking and stop them getting sore is going to be really beneficial and i know a very very good brand but can be a little bit pricey is burt's bees i've never used their hand cream but i have used their lip balms and they are top dollar next up for a stocking filler on my list it would not be a complete video without a why so scrunchy mention now i do have a link for you guys which gets you 10 percent off it is not an affiliate link i don't make any money any commission through it but it does get you 10 percent off and i genuinely just have that link because i like to support small businesses and it is an amazing company and sam is a wonderful human she's a student nurse and designs student scrunchies nursing scrunchies paramedic scrunchies midwife scrunchies just healthcare professional scrunchies in general she also does does lots of other little bits and accessories and some stationery too but these are the collection that I have and this little stand is from her as well um, if you can see on there why so scrunchy and they all have different designs on there are so many more on a site but they are just beautiful scrunchies and I have them in all the time this has been my favorite at the minute it uh, doesn't have a nursing pattern on this one, but because it's got neutral colours in it, I absolutely love that. But they are absolutely gorgeous. This is my second favourite one, which I wear quite often, which has little stethoscopes on. But obviously you don't need to get all of these, you don't need to get lots of them, you don't need to get the stand, but even just one would be really, really nice in a stocking. Next up is a bit similar to the hand cream kind of situation whereby we get dry lips and that is because of the heat, it's because of the air conditioning, it's just not a great heated atmosphere in the hospital settings so having a decent lip balm is really very good i don't like them when they're too oily i break out on my lips if i use anything that's oily and so i found the malibu lip care and they come in a pack of three this is vanilla and it comes with mint and watermelon i do have a mint one somewhere but i've dropped it and i can't find it and lee has the watermelon one but these are bomb guys and the quality is so good they don't give you that sticky feeling they're not too oily and they do keep your lips really well moisturized so that is a perfect little stocking filler another stocking filler idea i don't have on hand and that's because i've used it and it's not something that i'm going to put on screen because it's a little bit nasty to share because it's been used but it is a foot file and again we are on our feet for very very long periods of time and it is nice to just give your feet a little bit of a kiss of life having a foot file can really help ease any build up of tough skin on the balls of your feet and the heels of your feet so foot file i have one i do use it quite often so a similar theme for the foot file is a nail file now yes i know i have got gel polish on at the minute but i 
but I am on the theory side of nursing school at the moment, so clinical placements are finished until January, so I'm allowed polish on my nails, guys. But when you are on clinical placement, out in hospitals, community, wherever it is that you will be, over here in the UK, we are not allowed colours on our nails, we are not allowed false nails, we are not even allowed clear varnish. So we have to have short, natural, filed nails all the way down for infection control and also to make sure that you're not gonna scratch your patients in any way as well. So nail files are definitely up there. Top list for stocking filler idea. Stationery. And I don't mean you have to go wild with stationery, but something like this, a multi-way pen. Obviously not in these colours because we're not allowed to chart in pastel colours, but if you get the ones that are red, blue, green and black, then they are perfect. Multi-way pens are amazing because the black pen is what we're allowed to chart with. The red pens and other colours on there are great for when you get your paper handover and you can circle and write in different colours to highlight certain important things on the handover. Highlighters. These are a wonderful little thing for the obvious, highlighting. And I always keep these ones because these are mini, so they fit in your pocket without taking up too much room. I use these to highlight anything that is mega super important in the handover so that it just stands out to me on the page. Uh, yeah, love these for a stocking filler. Whilst we're on the subject of pens, a pen light. And these are wonderful. I think you can actually get some pen lights that do actually have an actual pen on the end, which is like dual, which is a really, really good idea as well. But these are just, as you can see, it's a bit worn and battered mine. I do use it, that's why it's got batteries in it. And it came with a set of two from Amazon. It just gives you your pupil size on the side and obviously the light on the end. I've turned it off now so I don't blind you. But yeah, I love my pen lights. Another amazing thing is bandage scissors. These are getting quite old now. I've had these since I started my degree. I do clean them before anyone asks. They do get antiseptic wiped, but these have been the most useful thing I've ever, ever, ever used out on placement. And nine times out of 10, you will get someone that says, oh, has anyone got any scissors on them? Yes, I have. <laughs> and they're very, very inexpensive. You can get them off eBay, you can get them off Amazon. You can get them from pretty much most places, but make sure that you get bandage scissors because they have a flat, end on one of the scissor sides if you can see and that's just so it can run against the patient's skin without cutting them or causing them any damage so if you are going to get scissors for a loved one who's in healthcare make sure they are the bandage scissors so next up is something that we have on us and that is badge reels or or lanyards and these are what we carry our identification on. And this one is from Why So Scrunchy. So remember when I told you before that she doesn't just do scrunchies, she does little accessories as well. This is one of her lanyards and it is so cute. And it has the safety brake pull away. So if anyone pulls on it or it gets caught, it's not gonna cause any damage to anybody and will just break away. This is a badge reel that I got from Amazon. It came in a pack of four. I'm not sure why, because they were all the same. But it says, fueled by caffeine and chaos. Obviously there are hundreds of thousands of different types of badge reels and lanyards, but these are the ones I have, so I thought I would share them with you. Uh, and another one I have is this student nurse one, which I keep on me all the time. I think I got that one from Etsy. Got that when I first started, I believe. Now, I have a lanyard with my identification on, and then I use my badge reels for these little guys. Now, these are medical cards. They are unbelievably helpful. I think some places may call them scrub cards, but I'm not too sure. But they have everything you need right here. So if you are confused about something or need a quick refresher on something, then you've got the cards literally on you to check. So the main one that I that I have always referred to is the News 2 chart, and that is to score your patient's observations. And it tell, it's literally the same as what it is on the system, but it's on you here. So if you're wondering if your patient is scoring or not, then it will give you a really good idea here. It has the Glasgow Coma Scale, your S-bar, ECGs and how to interpret them, blood results, everything. Everything you can think of. These are one of the most amazing things I've ever, ever come across and they are really good quality. They are solid plastic and wipeable for hygiene purposes. But yes, I only got these this year in my third year and I am kicking myself for not having them sooner. So again, one of the best stocking fillers that I can definitely advise you to get for somebody. Next up is a clinical pocket reference guide. I won't bore you with all the details, but let me just tell you that this is priceless to have. It has everything you need to know in small bite-sized chunks that literally is designed to fit in your pocket. That's why it's called the clinical pocket reference. So it's things about infection control, how to physiologically monitor somebody, 
intravenous therapy, drug administration, acute or emergency care, terminology. I believe it was about £15 but not entirely sure and this may be an older version as I got this when I first started but I don't think much would have changed anyway. Next is milestone cards and again it's something that I only got in my third year and wish I'd have got in my first year because they have so many things on here that you fill in with the date once you've achieved them and so today I qualified, today I mastered a new clinical skill, today I need more coffee, um, today I empowered my patient, just lots of beautiful little milestone cards like that and this is from the same place that I get my planner from which is the Happy Student Company, you can see them down there. And these are the most beautiful, thoughtful gift that you could possibly think to get somebody who is starting out in their nursing career. I believe they do other healthcare professional ones as well, not just nursing ones, so do check them out. Another amazing gift I have, and I can't find where I've put them, but I think I've only got about four or five sheets left on them anyway, so I do need to order another one, is my observation sheet chart. And this is just basically a little notebook with all the observations that you take on your patients. So blood pressure, temperature, everything like that that's on your News 2 chart is on this paper so you can write it down. So we do have access onto the computer systems and onto the iPads, which is eobs, but we can't always get on them. And for student nurses, it can be a little bit tricky to get a pin for them. And we often end up writing them down on scrap pieces of paper, putting them in our pocket, and then go and type them up on the big computer. But these are already set out for you and you literally just write the numbers in and the results in and it makes life so much easier. Next is another thing I don't have and it's another gift card and it is a coffee gift card. Now I've written down Starbucks because I love Starbucks, that's my favourite place to go but it's a Costa coffee, it can be for Sainsbury's, it can be for Asda, it can be anywhere that sells anything coffee related. If your loved one isn't into caffeine then even a hot chocolate would be nice from time to time or an iced drink so really nice little gift idea to put in a stocking and you can't go wrong with those. So that just about wraps up my gift guide for nurses, nursing students, healthcare professionals and I hope that it was helpful to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I have absolutely loved filming this for you guys and I hope that you have enjoyed watching it. If you did, please do go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. Let me know if you get any of these things. Let me know if there's any more ideas that you could put down for other people to read. Please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more uploads and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,